If you're trying to avoid Galaxy S24 leaks and spoilers, you only need to wait a little longer, as Samsung's next unpacked launch event is less than five days away. However, for those eager to know everything as soon as possible, information about the upcoming flagship is being confirmed almost daily, offering more insights into what to expect. Just like recent days, today brings more information about the Galaxy S24 series. New official marketing images from Samsung have been leaked online, this time revealed by Android headlines. This latest leak is particularly interesting for those excited about the artificial intelligence features in the Galaxy S24 series, as it shows how artificial intelligence will be used for photo editing in these new devices. It's been mentioned previously that the Galaxy S24 series will have features like removing and moving objects in photos. This is illustrated in one of the leaked images, where a photo of a Bionics rider going up a ramp is edited using artificial intelligence. The artificial intelligence is used to move the rider higher in the air than their original position when the photo was taken. Not only will you be able to move objects in photos with the new Samsung Galaxy S24 series, but you'll also have the ability to shrink and rotate them. This was demonstrated in an official promo video for the upcoming Unpacked event. However, it's still uncertain how flawless the final edited photos will be. Creating artificial data to replace the space where objects were originally can be challenging. While promotional materials often show perfect results, the actual performance of artificial intelligence in photo or video manipulation can vary in real-life situations. This upcoming model will feature a 200-megapixel main camera capable of taking 2x zoom pictures without losing quality. Additionally, it will have two telephoto lenses, a 10-megapixel lens for 3x optical zoom and a 50-megapixel lens for 5x optical zoom. For ultra-wide shots and selfies, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will use 12-megapixel cameras, just like the previous Galaxy S23 Ultra. The Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus will maintain similar camera setups to the S23 series. They will have a 50-megapixel main camera capable of 2x optical quality zoom, a 10-megapixel camera for 3x optical telephoto zoom, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera, and a 12-megapixel front camera for selfies, it's not yet confirmed if Samsung will use newer sensors for these cameras in the Galaxy S24 lineup. More details should be available once the phones are officially unveiled on January 17. Android Headlines reports that Samsung's upcoming flagship phones will receive updates for seven years. It's not specified whether this seven-year update cycle includes only security updates or if it will also cover Android, One UI, and feature updates. We'll have to wait for further confirmation to see the full extent of these updates. It's intriguing to consider whether Samsung will extend the seven-year update policy to existing models like the Galaxy S23 and Galaxy Z Fold 5. Previously, when Samsung increased its policy from two to three and then four major OS upgrades, it included both new and older devices. However, committing to seven years of updates is a significant step, so it remains uncertain if Samsung will apply this extended update timeframe to its current devices as well. This decision would be a considerable commitment from the company in terms of software support. Also yesterday, first hands-on video of the S24 Ultra was leaked by Ice Universe. But after some time, the video was deleted from Ice Universe's Twitter, and he said, The video has been deleted. The video is from the manufacturer of his 24 series protective film, not made by myself. If you still didn't watch, must check out my previous video. As usual, let's explore everything about the S24 series, its features, design, and price, to help you decide which model is right for you. Regular viewers might already be familiar with this drill, so you're welcome to check out other videos. If you're new here, remember to subscribe to stay informed about upcoming content. Now let's get right into the details. The standard Galaxy S24 will come equipped with a 6.2-inch, 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display boasting a resolution of 2340 by 1080 It will make use of Samsung's latest M13 OLED panels, shielded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with aluminium 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch-hole front camera. Turning to the back, the phone features a 50-megapixel primary camera, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. In the USA and South Korea, it will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, while the European variants will run on the Exynos 2400. The device offers 8GB of RAM and storage choices of 128GB or 256GB, using UFS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S24 houses a 4,000 mAh battery supporting 25W fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the phone is expected to be released in February 2024, 
with an estimated price range of $850 to $900. Introducing the Galaxy S24 Plus, featuring an impressive 6.7-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display, it showcases an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3120 by 1440 incorporating Samsung's advanced M13 old panel, safeguarded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, a 12-megapixel punch-hole camera takes the spotlight. On the back, you'll find a powerful camera setup with a 50-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. In the USA and South Korea, it's equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, while European models run on the Exynos 2400. The phone offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM and storage choices of 256 gigs or 512 gigs, utilizing US 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S24 Plus features a robust 4,900 mAh battery supporting 45 watt fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the expected price for this device is around $1,050. Now let's explore the flagship of the lineup, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Introducing the Galaxy S24 Ultra, showcasing a generous 6.8-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display with a crisp resolution of 3088 by 1440 It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 old panel, safeguarded by the durable Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For capturing stunning selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch-hole camera. On the back, the phone features an outstanding camera setup, including a 200-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 50-megapixel 3x telephoto lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens with an impressive 10x optical zoom. Contrary to earlier rumors, it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 across all regions, distinguishing it from the S24 and S24 Plus, which stick with the Exynos. The S24 Ultra offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256, 512 gigs, and 1 terabyte storage, leveraging US 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S24 Ultra houses a robust 5,000 mAh battery supporting swift 45 watt fast charging. Connectivity features encompass 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, this premium device is anticipated to launch with an approximate price tag of $1,250. So overall, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra introduces a fresh design with enhanced durability and a significantly brighter display. With upgraded hardware and numerous new AI features, the inclusion of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in all Ultra models appears to be a smart move by Samsung. The overall improvements across the entire lineup suggest that these phones are poised for success. While the similarities to the predecessor might not entice S23 Ultra owners to rush for an upgrade, the S24 series is an excellent choice for those with older S phones or those considering their first S phone. As we approach the launch, more details will likely surface and I'll continue to share them as soon as they become available. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates in the future. Share your opinions in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next update. Until next time, peace out.